morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. And if you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Uh, today, a short TA update, and then the next five days, I will be in Monaco uh, watching the F1, Formula One, and uh, Max Verstappen, of course, and many other crypto people will be there that uh, we will be hanging out with. So, the video the next couple of days will be on and off, but probably made from my telephone. I don't want to bring my laptop over there, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts because I have two amazing charts that you must see and also one chart that's really interesting that I haven't seen before. So, uh, let's quickly jump into those charts over Bam, here. Now, this is of course the first one. This is always, um, and we are at 29,884 at the moment. And this is a four hour chart, guys. On this four hour chart, we can see the Bam Bam indicator. And it was a nice period of trading. It was like a long, a short, a long, short, long, short, long, and a short. So that's a nice uh, area of trading between the 0 0.618 and the 0 0.5 Fibonacci levels. Um, you could have been buying and selling if you would have followed um, the Bam Bam indicator, uh, the triple confirmation, the, the, the blue line crossing, the green starting, the flag, uh, closing above the other stepping line. So there could have been made some profit. If you zoom into the one hour, of course, different again. Uh, and if you zoom out a little bit more, what we are now going to do, you can see this. <clears throat> This is the very important part. Uh, yes, I will repeat it again because I've been talking about that trend line now for a couple of weeks. Uh, that dotted line, that dotted line that comes all the way from 2013 seems to become a support again. Yes, still this drawing on, but look exactly at that line that comes up all the way from 2013, again finding support. So the question is, do we find support here? and move up again to this line at 33k and if we are able to move that one then we want to break that green line at 36k so if we break 33k we are going to find a lot of resistance at 36k but that's also what you can see on that weekly chart over here um, that i drew uh, also two three weeks ago when we come up from this low we could go up to that downward trend line that red one and the resistance would then be around 36k so how long will this take will this really take all the way to july or will it already happen in june with a quick we don't know but the charts are telling us that this trend line is coming down and that if we create a lower high it would be around that trend line and that dollar line is again that upcoming trend line from <clears throat> 2013 so that could mean that we would go into this pattern where we touch that red line, come back to the green line and break out or drop again to 30k or even drop back all the way down to the 200 weekly moving average. I should make this dotted line red, now, like this. So is it possible that we do something really crazy, that we fall from here, bam, to there and then come up? Yes, of course, everything is possible in Bitcoin, but that 200 weekly moving average, this red line, that is increasing with a few hundred dollars every month is now around 23 uh, let's say 22,000 US dollar if you fall now if you follow that <clears throat> and the next week it will be around 23 you can see also the bam bam indicator on this chart again and here is the long just to give you an indication the long on the bam the short was there the long was there the short was there the long was there the short was there really nice trades to multiply your bitcoins okay if you want to trade the bam bam indicator on all those products then go to the bitcoinfamily.com you will find products the bitcoin family bot which makes you three to four percent a month on average uh, you can become a liquidity provider you can find all the indicators over here uh, the shop that is where we uh, sell our t-shirts and all cool bitcoin stuff now one more chart over here this is the gaussian channel we have been tracking that one also already for years um, and yes, we are in this red area and we have been many times in that red area. And when we have bottomed out down below that red area, we are moving up again with the price. Red is turning green. And when it is already green, you should already have been in, in my opinion, because that is the moment we go into the new run. 
So when we turn green, it is the moment we can go into that new run. And we can look to all the red areas we have in the Bitcoin history, <coughs> of which this one is the first one over here. When we bottom out below the red area, here, we go up with our price again, and then when red turns into green, see, you should already have been in. Still, when it turns green, you're in on time, we got bam, you have that run. But when we bottom out and we see going up and we can see the curling of the red line, you can already start to buy Bitcoin in my opinion. So for me, very important part. And at the moment, the question is, is this now the bottom? Because we had like a 60%, now 50, 44, now 34% uh, bottom below the red area. Or are we going to drop a little bit more um, all the way to whatever, 20K, 22K, what people are believing. If not, then we could be turning around again and making this area green, which would be really bullish. Um, we can see that the candles, long wick, this one, if this, if this week is going to close above that red other candle previous week, five days, sorry, I need to see five days, every candle is five days, really positive. Okay, and then I have two more charts, but before I go into those charts, I want to show you something really cool. This one is uh, 44 bankers, there's 44 central bankers of 44 different countries, and they were all screaming something together, and that is what I really want to show you. 44 central bankers invited to um, El Salvador to talk about the Bitcoin standard, to talk about Bitcoin adoption, and what are they screaming? Bitcoin! Yes. Bitcoin! Bitcoin! 44 central bankers. Okay, if that not is mass adoption, I don't know anymore. Um, now, let's go quickly into some more, 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 more really cool charts. Yes, yes. this is the first one. Um, this is um, a really cool chart. This is the Bitcoin Power Trend Line model. And the Bitcoin Power Trend Line model shows you the average price um, of uh, Bitcoin during an epoch. So during a four year halving cycle. So that was $6. It was for the thirty dollars became five thousand dollars and twenty eight thousand five hundred ninety US dollar. At the moment, we are an average of thirty five thousand US dollars. <clears throat> so we are a little bit above that dotted line. The, the the orange line is the price that we have, and the dotted line is the Bitcoin Power Line trend model, uh, which is telling us we would be in the next halving period, which is to be very clear, two thousand twenty four to two thousand twenty eight an average price would be 110,386. And the halving from 2028 to 2032 is an average price, uh, price of 332,000. And then from 32 to 36, we would be an average price of 846,000. And then before 2040, we are almost at uh, 2 million US dollar. Now, these are average prices. So an average price is created by a higher price than 110,000 US dollar and a lower price. And then you create an average of 110. So the current uh, bull cycle top was, of course, higher, but the average price that we saw during these four years is at the moment 35. And we thought it would be 28. And we thought and we think that it will be 110 in the next period, but that's an average price. We can be, be higher than that, of course, in that cycle. In this cycle, we could go to whatever 190k and then uh, drop back to 40k and then we would still have an average of 110k so that is how it is uh, being calculated guys and then uh, that looks really interesting if we see these kinds of bitcoin prices in the future and that's why i'm huddling and this model has also never been broken till now um, every time we go up in that rainfall rainbow colorful beautiful area um, this one is telling us, though, that this blue line <clears throat> where we could go near the halving um, could be around 50k or a little bit higher, but also could be, if we go now, around 30k, 20, 30k. So as long we keep following these beautiful colors inside this per, uh, inside this beautiful rainbow, we know that the price range for the next halving uh, will be this area. And that area is around 50k to all the way to the top of 500k. So yes, if Bitcoin moves down a little bit and then comes up again a little bit and moves down a little bit, we could be in this area which always is higher than we are at the moment. So those charts are really beautiful to me, guys. Now, bam, uh, that was everything for today. No, that was not everything for today. I have one more issue I need to talk about. Hmm, coffee first. 
Hmm. And some social media platforms and Telegram groups and WhatsApp groups, they are calling me out as a shitcoiner. <laughs> it makes me really laugh because I don't think that they even understand what a shitcoiner is. Um, to be very clear, the moment I support projects like Paid Network or VLaunch or Casta or any other coin I talk about on Twitter or social media, that is a moment I already invested in those coins and my tokens are locked up for a long period of time. So I'm not able to dump these tokens the moment these projects go live. I need to huddle these projects for a very long time. So these projects are projects I really believe in. But I want to tell you something. The moment you call me a shitcoiner, you should realize that you're the one still having a bank account. You're not living the Bitcoin standard. I am living the Bitcoin standard. You have the biggest shitcoin in your, in your portfolio that you could ever have. You have the euro or the dollar or any other fiat currency, which are the worst economics ever. These are the shitcoins. So before you call me a shitcoiner, look into the mirror. Look into your bank account. Is that above zero? You're a shitcoiner. Now, that was everything for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video and also the end. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? Do you think we are bottoming out at the moment? And do you think from here we will create this beautiful new run? Or are you worried that we are going to crash to 20 or 15K? Let me know in the comments down below and I will give a one or two t-shirts away to the best comments down below the view. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Yeah.